Today's podcast is brought to you by Quantrix Modeler Introductory Training, teaching the fundamental foundation that you need to become a Quantrix Master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Show me, show me, show me how you do Quantrix. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 232, where I'm going to show you how to filter data using dynamic comparison in Quantrix Modeler. This is something I actually came across today while I was helping a coworker of mine manipulate some data in Quantrix. I was really pleased with her and the progress she's making in Quantrix. Uh, most impressive, the model that she was building out to analyze some of uh, some transportation data at my day job and just really pleased with the progress she's making. But she wanted a little bit of help, so we started looking at her data and trying to manipulate it in Quantrix. And I discovered this functionality that I did not quite frankly uh, know exist or did not use, rather. I have here a basic matrix. It's got a list of sales by salesperson right in here. And there is a value over here that I want to filter this list. And I want to say, well, go ahead and bring back everything that is below uh, 60,000 or whatever I end up putting in here. So say I put 50,000, I want to see all sales below 50,000. Well, traditionally what I've done is I've gone out here to filter and I've gone to expression. And I've said, go ahead and where matrix one sales are less than or equal to matrix two. Oh, you can't do it quite that way. You got to keep typing it. So let me try that again. I go matrix one uh, sales are less than or equal to matrix two filter value. I'm going to double click on that and I go ahead and I click OK. Then I see everything below 50,000. If I were to go ahead and make this 65 grand, right? Again, I would see any value here below 65 grand. So that's how you would do that using an expression. I also discovered today that you could just go ahead and use comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and com delete this expression from here. And I would say comparison, and I would say is greater than or equal to. Uh, matrix 2 uh, filter value and when I do that I get the same result so again I would say uh, and I, I actually did greater than so if I did 50,000 here I'm gonna see everything that's greater than 50,000 in my list and if I want to ignore those filters I can go ahead and ignore it and I indeed I can verify that it is working the way I would think so I'm going to turn back on the filters by removing that ignore filters right there and that is how you would filter uh, in Quantrix Modeler using well both an expression but really as a comparison and that comparison piece is what I discovered today that I could use a comparison and then I could go ahead and put an expression in here in Quantrix. I think that's awesome. Uh, I absolutely love this tool. I was also visiting on the phone today with uh, Mike Salisbury and James Kipling at Quantrix and they were showing me some of the new uh, functionality that will be hopefully released later this fall in regards to find and replace and it looks absolutely awesome what they've done uh, they're taking find and replace and really bringing it up to speed but it's also going to the next level in Quantrix and there's some great functionality that you know it just put a smile on my face when I saw it so I'm really looking forward to seminar or Quantrix Dimensions Conference this fall. It's coming up in September and I hope that I'll see you there and that we'll be able to rejoice in the improvements in Quantrix and particularly in find and replace together as well as all of the other great features of Quantrix. And I hope that uh, you'll have a desire to become a Quantrix master because it is awesome software and it will change the way you look at data and model data forever. And I hope that you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. I also hope that you'll uh, send me an email and ask me any question you may have about Quantrix. I really do want to help you, and I hope that you'll go check out my training at QuantrixAuthority.com, where you'll get a fundamental foundation that you need to become a Quantrix master. <laughs>